Uh, did I hit the right button? F9, I think I hit the right button. Um, <laughs> shit. Sorry. Um, let me start over. Greetings from the insane asylum. You are about to continue your adventure with me, your host and humble narrator. Yeah, you better be, bitch. Um, uh, yeah, to be serious, though, we're getting into this game again. And by that, I mean we're continuing. I'm not getting into it again, implying that I got out of it. Because I've been in it quite a bit. You know what I mean? I mean, what's not to get into? If you can't tell so far, it's amazing. This game, my impressions of it are fucking, fucking rad, man. They fucking good, damn, good, damn, good, 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 great, good, good, good game. And check out the time. It is 2 a.m. Now, before I uh, get back to that safe, there's something I need to do. Do you remember the uh, the newspaper? Ugh. The newspaper, the, 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 the center, the printing, press, lab, um, shit, whatever that place is called, I need to get back there. It won't open. What? Seriously? I can't get back there. How lame. Um, I noticed... These are the offices of the local newspaper. The Innsmouth Courier. Yeah, no. Um, I noticed that uh, I, I, I completely it. missed it won't budge. that uh, that pack of ammo. So no, I don't have a pack of ammo. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to get it this time. So hopefully I won't have to deal with anything super creepy. And if I do, then that'll just be dandy. It means I'll have to fight with my fists. Which will suck even more. So... No, oh, I want in. Not out. Thank you. I've yet to watch all these videos. I was going to watch them. Today, in fact. But uh, I didn't. Um, I was busy. Well, early on I was busy. Come somewhat. But before I can tell you my story of how my day is, went, we got to solve this. Um, I was close. I was close with a 5-6-2. Um, if I didn't make it the, uh, the 5th of June, because what I do is I usually go by the, uh, I go day, month, year, and apparently this one is month, day, year. It's 2 6 12, February 6th, 1912, so, I hope this is clockwise. Two, six, one, two. Yep. Yes, cool. that's it. And now we open it. And there's a pentagram and a safe point. Cool. I could have done that last night, and I wouldn't have had to walk all that way. But you know what? I don't care. Now what the did I get? The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words "Book of Dagon." crazy stuff. Now let's see if we can... Mm. I can't even read it. Oh, I can. This book is handwritten and heavily bound. Its cover is embossed with the title, The Book of Dagon. It seems to be a religious work, translated from a series of ancient tablets. It tells of an entity called Dagon, apparently some kind of sea god, and his consort, Hydra. Consort, sorry, consort. They are the greatest of an underwater race called the Deep Ones, who worship them with sacrifices and other n rites. The descriptions of the sacrifices are particularly shocking, and there are details of magical spells and other strange rituals. Of this incredible manuscript is to be believed 
Their story stretches back beyond the remotest human origins into unthinkably remote antiquity. A few individuals are so incredibly old that they have seen continents rise and fall, for they do not die of old age as humans do. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are such individuals, and are greatly revered for their age and size. Their greatest awe, however, is reserved for a dark god named Great Cthulhu, who is said to sleep and dream in the underwater city of Rye. That's how I pronounce it, Rye. The book seems incomplete. The last chapters tail off as though the translation has not been finished. Alright, well, I've never heard of this Hydra. That's first news to me. I didn't know that Dagon had a, a bride. That would be a good, uh, a good musical, Bride of Dagon. Instead of Bride it's of Adam or something. Not Lilith. Seriously though, Lilith is sweet. Lilith Immaculate. Cradle fills anybody? I it's know that. Late. I better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. What does he mean by that, I wonder? Making tracks. Does that mean like get out of here? Is that a slang term for leave? Oh, it would be, I guess, just walking along. Um Boogie Boogie. Hello. 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 But yes, um I don't know if there's going to be a super secret part that comes up pretty soon, so I don't know if I want to tell my story of my day. It's somewhat exciting because usually I don't do things during the days. But I'll tell you later, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep on waiting until I know that I'll have some time. Evening, Joe. Oh, they're talking, huh? Stop bothering me, stranger. Well, it's not bothering you. It's clear as it's not bothering me. With that stupid accent of yours. Why don't you follow your own tongue, you slut of slut Hello. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Oh, great. That's what he suspected. Great. But... That sounds just swell. What is it with these flashbacks, I wonder? Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. Sorry about that. I seriously don't know what's going on. Um, Fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. Sure. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Darling, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfect. Excuse me, sir. Innsmouth law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Take your time, please. You know, I I have a suspicion that this is the man's deja vu. That uh, all of these flashbacks are coming back to him because they're literally flashbacks. And yes, I did see this key. It was blatantly obvious. It's the key to the back office. Now, I don't know if I want to go upstairs yet or not. To my room. It probably doesn't even exist, my room. It's unlocked. But, uh, yeah. A little break and enter. Never hurt anybody. Maybe it has. That's disturbing. Take a look at his desk first. Nothing of interest. Are you sure? Oh, there's some more ammo. The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. <laughs> oh, there's an organ. A heart. Hang on, let me crouch and get a better look. 
Yeah, it's definitely a heart. And that could... Oh, a vertebrae. Or a number of them. It could either be that or a snake. I'm going to say that it's a spine. <gasps> oh my god. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. That's disturbing. Oh my god, there's even more. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Shit, man, that's fucked. I knew that this town was suspicious. Ever since I. Oh! I, I what wonder this is. what secrets this book holds. Yeah, we'll, we'll find that out right now. Shotgun shell. Oh, shotgun shells. Okay, instead of pistol ammo. Post mortem records. Oh, God. This is written by an idiot. She were a lively one, and no mistake. I kept it going as long as I could for the music she were making. Such a pair of lungs. And after she were gone, I found those lungs on a look as good as they sounded. Maybe I'll keep them. Her liver was particularly sweet as well. I never much wanted to go to New York, but if they all that talk as much as this one, I reckon I ain't missing much. Soon as she woke and saw the knives, she was away talking and pleading and bargaining for his life. All them words made me dizzy, and I had to take his tongue first to stop him. In future, I'd better wait a while after they eat eaten dinner. For Zinnard stank awful. The bones was nearly all out before he died. I was real careful about the arteries, so as he didn't lose any more blood that could be helped, and he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as he tried to work his arm, but with the bones gone, there weren't nothing it could do, just twitch. I took it out a strap so it could move free, and I watched. The new gag worked much better, and he was more quiet than the last. <sighs> that is so fucked up. That's not something I'd hear in Lovecraft, particularly. Well, probably, but goddamn. Like, can you imagine how painful it would be to not have any bones in your arms, and then your tendons try to move them? Oh my god. The stench is sickening. Yeah, I better get the fuck out of here. Alright, he's not here anymore. That's good. Nah. He's probably. Just follow me, sir. I'll show you to your lodgings. Okay, good. Just they don't show me anything else. With the old wait's house tonight. They reckon the old fool. Killed his own daughter. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. Yeah, knowing you sick fucks, they probably would hang him. Yeah, thanks. Sure looks cozy. Oh, the fucking peeling walls and all. What a dick. Looks like he's responsible for the murder. You're still looking pallid, sir. You need to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Us Smith are quiet fall. Okay. Okay. 